All right, everyone. I'm back for uh, for another aquarium update. Things going well. Just like I said, they broke this thing again. A catfish is hiding in there, though. You can't see him. That little piece that you're seeing right, right here. I'm pretty sure that's his tail. I don't know. That one's doing good. Um, we just got Brian shrimp again, so. King is finally fattening up. I've already fed him tonight, so they don't need no more food. If you'd like to see a feeding video, I'll do one. Turtles, King, and King is pretty. But nothing's changed for the fishes that I want to get. This year, here's my book right here. It's um. The fish of Michigan, I mean not Michigan, the United States of America it has all the fish of the United States and um, everything about them and where they live. Details that distinguish them from other fishes, but still got the same things as I did before on my list. I just can't wait till spring and summer when I get to go get them. Except I think instead of getting a golden shiner, I'm going to... Replace the golden shiner idea with a catfish because last year I had a bullhead and man was he cool. But I got rid of him when he ate my central mud minnow, which that thing was really hard to get. So, but yeah, I think I'm going to get another one of him. Um, I don't want it to be a brown bullhead because they don't look as cool as um, the black bullhead or the yellow bullhead. They both look the coolest. And if I get a young channel catfish first, I'll keep that instead. But I just want a main catfish because if all else fails and all of these fish die except for King, that catfish will be alive too. Plus, if King was to die, then the catfish would rule over King. He actually might. Catfish are really, well, they're not really aggressive really. They're just really big and fearless and actually have teeth that... And enough bite power to hurt you. I had scars on my thumb for a long time from being bitten by a channel cat. And bullheads just have more powerful jaws than a two pound channel cat. So I just really want a bullhead. And um, I'm going to make a new rock structure for it. Because I don't just want him out in the open all day. I want him to have somewhere to hide. Because if he hides, that will leave more room in the aquarium during the day for these guys but that means I have to put like some sort of really big rock slate in here for him to hide under like right near the back and raise it up on other rocks like raise it up about that far off because the catfish I'd put in here is about a six seven inch catfish which that's pretty big but you know they don't attack everything they come out at night you know they're nocturnal but I'm just really excited to go and I know exactly where I can get a bullhead. Roden Park, baby. I can get them all day. I pulled seven of them out with that minnow trap I used to have. Seven of them. Seven bullheads in that little minnow trap. And there are more wanting to get in. I just put it off the bridge that was a new spot for me to trap at and they just started piling in there and I didn't even see them. It was crazy. I didn't. I took home one of them because Ryan wanted me to keep it. But, of course, raccoons got into my kiddie pool and took most of my fish away. The catfish, of course, were the ones. But, um, I might actually go tomorrow. Oh, yeah. The reason I say that is because the water might be melted. Like, the ice might be melted. And it might be flooded over a little bit. So the water's going to be deeper, which means... They're going to be moving around, so basically I'll probably bait the area, because hopefully there's no current. I'll probably bait the area with, like, bread, get all the sunfish active, and put it down there, and wait for a little catfish. My micro-fishing rod I'll do it with. I'll just use a big old piece of cheese or bread, put it down there, and wait. I'll spend, like, two, three hours there trying to get one, just so I can put it in here. And I'm not settling for just any catfish or golden shiner you know it was I was choosing between either a golden shiner or a catfish and I thought I'd rather have a catfish because they're a lot cooler and my mom we 
my mom and dad used to have um a channel catfish and it got really big they said so and they couldn't keep it he got so big to the point where he couldn't hide under the rocks but that was a channel cat that's not what I want they're, they're too quick and flashy I already have a quick and flashy thing I have a koi I want something less silvery I want something more darker more black and that's where the black bullhead comes in but what if I want a unique bullhead a bullhead that's usually not caught very much you know you'll usually catch brown bullheads and black bullheads but you never tend to see yellow bullheads Yellow bullheads usually have a purple, purplish face and a little bit of yellow on their sides, but they mostly look like a black bullhead. Their face is just more rounded and such. Another way you can tell the difference, even if they look almost the same, is their um, four bottom whiskers. They have four whiskers down here. I'm pretty sure it is. It might be three. I'm pretty sure it's four. One, two, three, four. They're white. And the rest are black. So, So he's going to be the lean mean fish of the aquarium he'll be my only catfish more than likely um, him and the stone cat but um he should leave all my other fish alone I just can't put anything smaller in that than that in there and that catfish will tempt me not to put anything smaller than like this long in there cause king will just kill it so if I end up putting a black nose dace or a mountain red belly dace in here and king kills it the cat will eat it so we're good all we're good both ways catfish also just really draw people to aquariums and mine always did i'd always turn on my light at night when i went to the bathroom and just see him swimming up and down the sides of the aquarium oh, i think i had him for like a month and then i got rid of him now i realize what a mistake i made so but I've taken away a lot of the shiners and stuff I wanted to put in here. Um, for shiners, I only want a hog sucker and a spot fin shiner. Those are the those are the two that I want. I'm gonna get rid of my white sucker when the winter's over. You know, he's just taking up space. He don't look good at all, and he made my koi sick. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, you gotta get rid of him if he makes your koi sick. And of course, I still want to get that bass and the perch. It's pretty important to me. I want to get a different species of crayfish as well. I'm going to get rid of my white water crayfish. Because him and the northern clear water just look too similar to each other. I want a red devil crayfish. And a digger crayfish. as my last crayfish species. And then, of course, I want the darters. So, they have to be pretty big for that bullhead. Then, of course, the catfish. So That's all I'm going to have in here. That is a lot, though. I'm going to have, like, three or four darters about the size that I shouldn't put in here because that's really small alright they'll be lined up like um like one two three four something like that and they'll, they'll all be about this long and of course we'll have a bullhead it's about this long hanging out in the aquarium maybe a little bigger Hog sucker that I want him to be about that long. Spot fin shiner about that same size. The bass I want is about this long. Same thing with the perch. Then of course I'm getting rid of him. Him. Possibly him because he's really cool. But he's now on the possibly because I do sort of have a connection to him. I sort of raised him from a little... In little one inch baby and now he's almost four inches long so these fish are actually a lot bigger than they look on camera believe it or not yeah he's a lot bigger than that imagine the size your guys you guys are seeing him and times it by one that's how big he is he's a pretty big fish it's almost exact on though so i don't know i don't know anymore for my mammal species, which are going to go out in the shed, I already have my two mice. That's all I wanted in mice that I want. An eastern chipmunk. I don't know. No, no, I haven't showed you guys the enclosure I made for him out of the bird cage. It's pretty cool. I like it more than the mouse enclosure, actually. Yeah. They're pretty.
They're prettier. And then I want a gray squirrel. Or a black morph gray squirrel. Or a red squirrel, whichever comes first. I moved the traps from the last time you guys seen them too. I moved one all the way over into Nick's yard. A little bit back in the woods. Then the other one is um, now on a... Yeah, I want to keep them. And then um, I'll have a five gallon or two. Well, yeah, I'll have two five gallons and a ten gallon open. After that... Depending on the type of snake, I want to get a milk snake this year. So, he'll go in the 10 gallon and then, um, depending on the size really, if it's a milk snake that's like a small baby, like, like maybe about 10 inches long and thin, you know, he'll probably go in the 5 gallon. But if it's a bigger one, like over a foot long, he'll go in the 10, I guess. So yeah, all that will happen um, this coming spring and summer, but I'm hoping the catfish happens tomorrow. So I have something else to film about, and so I have a new pet that I want. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next time. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.